The investigation continues into an explosion at a mobile home park in Marana. Hazmat teams collected evidence last night from the shed where the blast took place as a 30-year-old man was flown to a burn unit in Phoenix to treat severe burns over more than half his body. Not in your sides, Christina Myers in Marana with the latest. After a scary night of evacuations, everything is quiet and seemingly back to normal here at the Marana Valley of the Sun RV Park. We're told that the explosion was contained inside a shed behind this second house that you see here. But for the man inside the shed when the explosion happened, the flames caused some severe damage. Looking at this shed, you probably would never guess there was an explosion here last night. Neighbors say they heard a loud boom and came out to see a man running around on fire. The neighbor who called 911 extinguished the fire along with his family members. Uh, my understanding in talking with them and witnesses were that they put him to the ground, they rolled him around, they had a blanket and put those flames out. Captain Adam Goldberg with Northwest Fire says the man was burned on 57% of his body. But Goldberg says the blast was contained inside the shed and did not damage any other structures. We believe that's what occurred because we don't have a roof blown off. We don't have an active fire in a building, but we know we have a burn victim. So we had what we believe was vapors that ignited from some ignition source causing his injuries. Those vapors and ignition source must still be identified by Marana police to find the cause of the blast. The man's recovery is expected to take several months. Marana police are waiting until he has recovered enough to talk to him about what happened. Reporting from Marana, Christina Myers, KGA 9 on your side.